Hello, YouTube freaks. I have a relatively easy to understand proof here. Don't be scared by the notation ever. Um, I will try to explain it to you. It's a Linalge proof. It's in uh, linear algebra done right, I believe. I should know this because I was just reading the textbook, but it's really cool. It's really neat. We're going to go over it. And uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get let's get cracking. So essentially, to set it up, and maybe actually, we set it up by just keeping the proof on there. So prove or give a counterexample if this list right here is a linear lin linearly linearly linearly. <laughs> independent list of vectors in V, and uh, this lambda in F uh, with lambda not equal zero, so it's a non-zero lambda, then so you're multiplying each uh, vector by lambda is linear, lin <laughs> linearly independent. Hey, how do you say this word? Linearly? 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 Linearly. Y'all, English. <laughs> I need English lessons. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're going to take this and put it up here or something. Boop. And we're going to start working through it. So first of all, we need to recall what makes something linearly independent, okay? So you have some list here. So we're going to put number one. We have some list. Let's make it like W1 all the way to WM, okay? Is only linear, linearly independent if the only scalars, so this is like the, um, the trivial scalar, what have you, a1 all the way to am satisfy satisfy sa <laughs> uh, satisfy oh, it's really hard to write today i can't write satisfy Okay, I'm getting there, guys. So, sum of, that's hilarious. That's very funny. You know what? Just put the one in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first part is right here. Now, why does this equal zero? It's because all these... All these equals zero. So obviously, if you're multiplying any A with any W, and A is equal to zero, no matter what A it is, it's always going to equal zero. If you multiply something by zero, it's going to give you zero in linear algebra. I bet I could find a math. I bet I could find an axiom that's like, actually, no, that's not the case anymore. We've, we've made it not the case. But anyway, for this for this proof, this this is how you can tell if something is linear linearly independent. Okay, it has to satisfy these things. Our list is not a W; it's a V. We have V of I, but we can still set it up so then we can figure it out, kind of like this. So. What we're going to do is we can set up a general linear relation among the scaled vectors. So we assume, we assume that our a1 all the way to am in f satisfy, satisfy, right? Satisfy this right here. So we're assuming that it satisfies because this is how we can prove it wrong. So if we're incorrect, if we are incorrect, and this is in fact wrong, 
then we start at a place where it's right. So we assume that we're that that this is going to be that it is linearly independent, and then we try to find from correct, try to find where it could go wrong. Okay. So our first thing to do is we can factor out the non-zero scalar, right? Because we don't really want this. We want to find out if this relation holds here, and if and if you know if 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 this can be true. So we can factor it out, giving us scalar summation a one v sorry a a i and v i, and I write my j's like that, and I write my i's like that, and you guys just have to deal with that, okay? And I write my i like that down there, but not up here. Should I do this? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm playing too much. Okay, so you factor out your non-zero scalar here. And because, this is very important, I wanna highlight that, but because we know it's a non-zero scalar, this is really what makes this possible. Because it's a non-zero scalar, and by the way, this we're assuming to equal zero, I think that's very important. Um, very important, right? Because we're assuming that this holds. Because this is equal to zero, and we know this doesn't equal zero because it's defined up here, then we can just multiply by one over the scalar, or what have you, or like, I guess, like, divide by, or whatever. It's all, it's all multiplied, so it's going to just fall out. I'm going to take my time here, and I'm going to show you every little step. So this is clearly gone. Boom. And this is also gone. Boom. Because it's zero. And then you're left with that exact relation. Look at that. And this is only possible. This is only possible. This can only equal zero every single time if a of i a of m equals zero. Right? All these a's have to equal zero to give this answer here, okay? So, or as I wrote down on my paper, <laughs> it says, because our list V of one to V of M is linearly independent, the only solution to the relation in this step here that we have shown is if A of one is equal to A of two is equal to A of M is equal to zero. And finally, because the only linear combination of this, uh, that is zero is the trivial one, which is what we have just proven. Uh, these vectors are linearly independent by definition. So the key takeaways here, I know you might be thinking, wow, this is pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, but the key takeaway here is if you have a scalar and it's non-zero, you have a non-zero scalar, it is essential and any, so you have some like non-zero scalar, and I, I wanna write this down, non-zero scalars simply stretch or shrink the vector, okay? So it's, it's all, it's literally chill, is what I'm trying to say, okay? It's literally chill. That's your key takeaway. Um, all right, well, we have proven this. It is probably pretty easy stuff for a lot of you guys, but I still think it's fun. And uh, I will catch you in the next YouTube video.